Yo, what is up everyone? How's it going? And welcome back to Get Jacked here in Ark Survival Evolved. Now, we're on the Scorched Earth map and got a little base build going on here in the last few videos, but it's time to actually expand this because I got the bird and realized we're at population limit here. <laughs> like, this thing is totally packed to the brim with stuff just hanging out on it because otherwise if I throw those guys down there, they're going to get killed by terror birds or something. So, I got to keep them on top of the base. But what we need to do is actually upgrade this place, get a wall around here and whatnot. As you can see, I upgraded the interior of this place. It's looking nice. We've got a little bit of a shower, like a mister, I would say, above, oops, above the staircase. So every time you go up and down there, kind of cools you off a little bit because it uh, doesn't really help at all. But that's why we added the adobe to everything because the full wood interior it although it looks nice it's nice and classy it uh... it cooks you from the outside in so you can't actually just build a whole base out of wood in this one you gotta go with the adobe So can we clear some of this out with this guy nope he's totally useless yep these can't be used for gathering of anything except meat i don't think so what we're going to do is I got to clear out some of the spot. I need to get going on this base build. That's going to be what we do for the whole video. That storage box is full of stuff. So uh, let's get started. All right. So I built a wall around the whole place so that we can actually have stuff walking around and whatnot. Uh, I figured, I mean, it, it's, it was a wall, so I didn't you know, show any of that. But it took a lot of resources <laughs> nonetheless. So let's shut this so that nothing gets in here. And I also built a foundation over here. I don't know if this is going to stay as wood. It might turn into an adobe, but I wanted to map it out a little bit. So we've got a bridge going across. That's where it's going to lead to this area. So this basically is where the fabricator and stuff is going to be, along with probably some more dino storage. Is dino storage? I guess they're not pieces of furniture. I guess it would be habitat for them. They're going to have a nice little adobe habitat, I guess. But anyway, we're going to get started on this now that the wall's all out of the way. We can get into the interesting stuff and just get started with the, the build itself. Oh, let's get these freaking weeds growing out of the floor. Okay, so I've put some pillars down. Not sure if I'm going to keep them, but uh, it's a good way to get the ceiling started. So anyway, let's throw this hatch frame on here. I'm thinking that the fabricator room should have a hatch frame in the bottom so that I can enter with an argent or whatnot if I'm bringing metal into the build. So I just need to get this whole ceiling going here. I started with the pillars. If you put the pillars up first before you put the ceilings on, then they won't poke through and ruin your floor, make it look stupid. Well, let's throw this on there. Oh yeah, that looks pretty cool. Looks like it should be in like a western or something, but I'm not sure what what they'd be using giant trapdoors for in a western. Anyway, let's continue along this. I'm going to just finish up this ceiling, and then we're probably going to rail off this area to make for some dino storage and whatnot. Alright, so I've got some railings. Let's throw these on here. Yeah, you're not allowed up here yet, thorny dragon. But this will probably be where I throw them because it should be a pretty cool spot. Anyway, let's throw these railings on here. Oh, can I put one there? I think this is a little bit off. Dang it. We'll just leave that there. That's a that's an entryway, you know, onto the bridge from the ground level. I, I, I meant for that to happen. Anyway, uh, we'll just throw all these around this entire area. Come on. And these are all just... I, that's as far as I could really go with the foundations. I couldn't really spread them out any further because over here, the ground got up a little bit too high. But we should be able to make do. I'm probably going to throw some ceilings. Okay. As you can see, I haven't finished the ceilings up top. But I'll probably throw some ceilings across this area to kind of even it out. Let's get these railings up here first, though. Oh, what the heck is this guy doing in here? How did you get past my wall? Are these trank arrows that I've got in this bow? I guess we'll find out. Hey, you. Go to sleep. Oh! Nope. It was a regular arrow. Oh, well. <laughs> he shouldn't have been in here anyway. Okay, so. Got the ceiling up. Now I'm just building kind of where the fabricator room slash... I guess my Argent's going to be parked in here, too. Because then it's just going to be easy for it to bring resources in and out. Oh, by the way, that Morella Tops, he's been hanging out on that cliff over there for this entire 
build. I think he's really enjoying it. He hasn't wanted to come down or anything, so I think he's just got the best seat in the house. He's just taking full advantage of it. So let me grab some more things here. I've been doing window walls up top, you know, so we can get a nice breeze going through. It's really hot and whatnot. The Adobe doesn't fully help, so we need some we need some airflow. So we'll kind of get that going. We're gonna throw, as you can see, I'm kind of putting. Here, we'll throw a normal wall here, and then we'll kind of go in. So I'm kind of leaving the corners off. Gosh dang it! When there's two, uh, when you put it in between two ceilings, it's uh, like a 50/50 chance that'll place place correctly. So we'll make sure we get those. Don't use E though, because if you use E just messes everything up okay so we'll kind of throw these here I'm gonna wall off this area and then I'm gonna kind of I think I'm gonna use some fence foundations to actually do an angle on the front oh dang it why does it need foundation on just those ones I'm gonna have to go and fix that too okay so I built a little slant here with fence foundations as you can see right here it's nice and flush but when I had to come from the other side that one's just a little bit off it's a little annoying, but I think I can deal with it. As you can see on this side, I've also got that one spot that's just a little bit annoying. So basically, if you just line up fence foundations, you can cut off. I just wanted to cut off like that way so that it give it a little bit of a different shape, not just a square. You know, nice. Anyway, that's, uh, that's how you do that. It's basically like doing it on a boat or a raft when you kind of add the foundations to give it a point in the front. But it's, there's no water here, so can't really do that on a boat. <laughs> so I'm going to do a like kind of sloped back on that. So we'll throw some sloped founda or sloped ceilings up there. I like how this adobe looks, by the way. It's, it's pretty dang cool in two different ways. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, oh shoot. I forgot about those. We gotta take care of these, these like fence foundations here. Should I use Adobe? Oh, that'll be really expensive if I use Adobe for this too. I don't know if I've got enough, and I don't know why I use a window either. Um, let me see here. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so I just did the other side like this. Basically, let me see if I can get this lined up. Go, go where you're, go where you're supposed to. Let's demolish this. It's probably not helping. Okay. Okay. Will you go down? When it work, when you're working with slants, it's a little bit goofy here. But anyway, I've got the. I I decided to use wood instead of the Adobe. I've used Adobe for so much of the other parts on this one, so might as well just you know go with wood. Anyway, we'll use this for this area. I'm just kind of covering up those fence foundations, and I'll probably remove the pillars now that I've got a little bit of a wall here. I don't mind it. I actually think it looks a little bit better. So, anyway, I couldn't put foundations here, so I have to go with ceilings, sadly. They kind of look... They look weird when you have them by themselves, because they look like a little puzzle piece. The foundations are nice, though. They look like a, like a mix between concrete and adobe, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to throw in there. Alright, so we've got those here. I probably removed the pillars in the front now, because pretty much useless, right? Let's take this out here. Because once you've got foundation down below, I mean, the pillars aren't really used for anything anyway. So, we'll kind of remove these. Leave that as a little gap to get on. What do we got over here? We'll remove that one. And probably just continue on with the top now. So, we'll kind of see how this is going to go. Let's throw all this garbage in here. And uh, I'll be right back. Alright, so I got the sloped roof going up. Gonna throw these on each side. I'm getting really hungry, so I've got to make this short. Let's throw these on here. So I'm gonna do one row here, and then I'll actually throw another tier up on the other part. I think. Let's get all these set up. Perfect. Look at that. Nice and cool. Awesome. All right. So let's get under here. Grab. I need. Just need to grab a couple more sloped ones. I'm really getting sick of that puzzle piece look right there. I have to remove it. I think I'm going to make the whole floor down here adobe. You know, just so it all matches. So grab these. Go throw another tier. So we do want it to be a little bit taller. That's why I want it to be three tall up here. Because that's where, where the argent will be perched. Let's throw these on. Let's 
And I think once we've got this all set up, we've got our fabricator. We'll finally... Okay, make sure you put the sloped part on before you put the full roof. <laughs> the, the wedge part before you put the roof. Because you can't do it the other way around. I've had to break so many pieces because of that. Anyway, stop pushing me around, man. We'll grab these walls so that I can kind of increase the size here. So, we're almost done with this build. I'm pretty excited about it too because I've had to go and get resources a few more times because I did not have enough stuff for this. Anyway, throwing some railings up here. Just a little platform up in the upper part. So, basically the fabricator will throw on the other side. I'm really excited to finally get a fabricator. Um, maybe we'll put the gap right. Those don't connect completely correctly. We'll put the gap right there. That's where, that's where we could fly the Argent in. So we'll put that there. Awesome. These railings, that like the Adobe railings, actually look really cool too. I like them a lot compared to the other ones. So where should we throw this fabricator? Oops. Alright, where are we at? Maybe throw it right here. Yeah, it looks like a good spot. And we still have plenty of room for storage. Probably throw some refrigerators up here, get this place all suited. We also need to get some air conditioning going because we're going to want to hatch some of those wyvern eggs and whatnot in the future. So we need a, like a, a baby room, I suppose, too. So I'm going to grab some torches, throw those up, and we'll, we'll continue along here. All right, so I threw double doors up on the upper level and put a little balcony around here. This will be the way that we get up to the top. So I'm just putting railings on here. I want to make sure it's safe. Don't want to fall off and hurt ourselves because we actually do take a lot of damage from a lot of crap in scorched earth. So let's throw. Can we place you here? All right, awesome. And we just need some right up here. The sloped adobe ceilings kind of got have shingles. So they look a little bit goofy to use as ramps, but I, th I think we can make do. We'll kind of throw these here too. Perfect. All lined up. Look at all railinged off. Now I can go and tame up a bunch of other birds or something. I'm not sure. So I've got a little torch placement. Or, oh, jeez. Keep having to break these things. All right, let's continue. And it covers up the puzzle piece look of the ceilings as well, which is really nice. So I'll just continue with these railings, and then I'll show you everything all together. Here we go. It is finally finished, at least for now. Once I get some more engrams and am able to unlock some of the other storage containers and decoration stuff, I'll be able to kind of make this look a lot cooler, but I think it's a good start. I mean, it, it definitely has some, some good character to it, <laughs> for sure. So it, I wanted to get it raised up off the ground so we had that dino storage below, of course. We've got, I still got to put some foundations, found, foundational support there. I've got some uh, torch placement. We've got a little place for our Argent to be parked when we're unloading it. I built a mirror. I thought it'd be really cool. I saw it in the engrams, but uh, it's not cool at all. You can kind of see your hands a little bit. I don't know what's going on with that. What a waste of engram points. I thought it would be a nice way to kind of wake up, you know, get out of bed, l look at what I'm wearing on my head without having to, I don't know. It wouldn't really be useful at all, but it would look kind of cool, I thought. So anyway, well, I threw the adobe floor on on the bottom here, where you know where floors go, and I think that looks a lot better than that wooden stuff. The back looks pretty cool. I think I could probably add a ramp going up from down here to the top, but like I said, I'm still going to be kind of building and adding to it as we go. So I've got some torches down here as well. So now we definitely have enough room to actually get some more dinosaurs, creatures, whatever you want to call them, here on Scorched Earth. So, anyway, that's where we're going to stop for today. If you like the video, definitely hit that thumbs up. Let's get off me. <laughs> and or subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate all the feedback and support on all the ARC stuff so far. So, y'all have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you next time.